Welcome back. I'm Shane. Here I'm going to do a video of a first in a series of videos for content creators on Linux. This is something I want to show because I do the interior book formatting for my wife's novels and novels of other people. I have permission to show some stuff from her book though. What I'm going to do is the program I'm using is actually Scribus. Now in the past I've used for most of her books, I have used the Affinity Publisher, but because I decided to quit using Windows and I wanted more finite control over the software, I decided to buckle down and learn Scribus. But here is the default starting of it. You can set your margins, your bleeds. If you have like an image that needs to go beyond the cutting point of something like the cover of a book, the bleeds, this would be for like uh, the inside of the book. And you can get this information from like Amazon KDP publishing, uh, Ingram Spark, other publishing companies for the different sizes of paperbacks, hard books. Uh, you can get this information from their sites and enter it in. So what I'm going to do though, is I'm actually going to open an existing document with this. You'll see here, these pages have nothing set to them other than the bleeds for the Amazon KDP. As you can see, this is slightly lower because in my master pages, I have like the name of the book here and the author name over here. So if I go over here to edit, I can go into master pages. You see normal left and normal right. These are the default that Scribus will make when you set up your bleeds and everything. And I did a double page profile for this for the program and I created the book left and book right. So here I'm actually going to bring it here into the center. On here I have just this would be author name because I put this here as part of a template and I have it slightly above this lower guide. And you can pull guides into the book this way. And I do have snap to guides turned on. So I did a guide here for this part where the page number is going to be. And one down here below that and on the sides for the bleed area. So that when I do a text box, it snaps right in. Now the page right, as you can see book name, page number. I can go here, return the normal page mode. These have just normal left, normal right. But if I go down a little bit more, I have pages that I added that follow the master pages. So when, what you can do, if I go down here, I can actually go to pages. You can insert more pages. You do it at the end of the page. So after this page here, and you can select from your master pages. So you can do normal left, normal right, or you can add the ones that are meant for the interior of the book. So here I'll just add one page. It's going to add this and it adds the right page to the right for the book right page. So stuff I have here, I have a text box here for the chapter, name of the chapter, and then the text. With this, I'm actually uh, copying and pasting the text from a text editor like only office or LibreOffice. However, inside this program, you can import text from like a open text document format. It does support that does not, as far as I can tell, does not support uh, Microsoft Office documents, but it will support the default open source formats. But something I have set up here is specifically the default fonts that I have, and I have a drop caps preset, and you see this indentation here for the first line. If I go to edit, you can go to styles or you can click F4. This is the styles manager here. So I have my default character styles. Let me make this bigger here. So as you can see, the default styles here. I have a uh, Garamond as the default font for everything. This just sets the font for everything. I have 11.50 as the points for the font. And there's that. And then I have 
default paragraph. As you can see here, I do have the uh, 0.25 inches for the indentation for the default paragraph. All that really is, is the starting of the paragraph. And as you can see, it carries over the font and everything. So this is just stuff that you can do. So yeah, as you see, default paragraph style. My drop caps, as you can see, I do have that set up to create this drop caps on specifically the first paragraph of a chapter. I have it set to four lines and it kind of bold makes the character bold, but it takes up four lines. Still in the same font, but again, keeps all the information I need. There's no indentation when you when I have this set. And then I have first line, no indent. So I removed the indentation. So sometimes you may have a single line that you don't want to indent, indent or other lines inside a paragraph that you don't want to move. So I have that. And you can keep all of this, but once you have your master pages set up and your font stuff all set up exactly the way you want, the size of the book, the margins, and you have your guides, this supports saving just that information as a style so I can start a new book and bring in someone else's book, work on it, and not have to recreate this template every single time, which is what I was doing in Affinity Publisher. Even though it has the ability to auto-populate the pages, and you can even tell it to start chapters on every odd page, which would be this right page, it'll automate some stuff for you like that in that program, but I'm fine just copying over the chapter myself, to be honest. It functions the way I want it to. And quite honestly, when I do the preview, I find it looks better than Affinity Publisher because the text is, it just looks better, more pleasing to the eye. You know, when I have the preview, so you don't see all the guides and everything, it just looks really good. But that's also probably from the control. Now, if I go here, you can double click in and you can edit the text that is in here directly, or you click this text box and you can use this edit text with story editor or control T. And this is where I pasted the text and you have your styles. So you see this first paragraph, I select the drop caps and I hit enter to make sure I would have this space below. So that's no style. And then here I have default paragraph. So it would do the indentation that I wanted. So there's some automation stuff like that that you can do. Some stuff with this program, it does have a learning curve, you know, because you are having to manually put the text in it. You can import the text yourself if you really want to. So something you could do, I can, let's see, a straw text box here. As you can see, it automatically snapped and it's snapping to those. So it lines up exactly where I want. With this, you have all this information. If you right click, you can see information. So context, you can append text. And this is where you get all of your different formats. So possibly docx is supported. You can do the open source formats and this will work and you can add the text that way. That is one thing you could do. So that is just an option. But if you let it auto link the pages and auto generate text boxes for you, you can do that. If you're going to do that, I would only, I would just copy and paste one chapter at a time, but make sure you pull in the chapter stuff separate from the actual book content. In future videos, I am going to be continuing this series, just mainly showcasing software that is for content creators that prefer to use Linux and open source tools. I will show some commercial software, but I'll also show the open source alternative to it for anyone that doesn't want to use a commercial program. But every program I'm going to show is actually going to be native Linux apps so that we, you will know that it is able to work on your system. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Later.